Hello, this is Rick. I'm getting ready to load an AP tank. I guess I got some scrap what I got here. Here's the trim fingers off of RAM cards. Yes, yeah, these are actual RAM cards right here. You see the gold circuits on the back, chips on the front. This is a little thing here with a CPU out of a laptop. You can see the ceramics busted off. But it's got a gold trace in the center. So here's more trim fingers off of different scrap out of computer. What exact kind of scrap? I don't know. I'm trying to get over here in the light where you can see a little bit better in it, if possible. This is low level incandescent light, not as good as sunlight. But hopefully, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Anyway, these are small trim pieces. I'm going to put the larger ones in. This, this here is my filter basket. Made it out of a small cottage cheese container or whatever. It came out of a deli. Soles in the bottom, heated up in nail with a propane torch, holding it with pliers, then shoved it through to melt the holes in it. It's not drilled. And then I tried seals in it with a propane torch, and you can see that I melted a small hole here in the bottom. Turned out to be a mixed blessing, because without that, it'd be a, a bad day trying to get all the foils rinsed out of this. And they tend to stick in the holes, but that big slit right there tends to help out a lot. Anyway, this here is what I use for my solution tank. Uh, as you can see, it's just a potato salad bucket. Get it in any store, both of these it works well. Solution is a mix of two parts hydrochloric acid. Uh, well, excuse me, it's three parts hydrochloric acid to two parts hydrogen peroxide. I'm using 34% hydrochloric acid. 600 cc's of that, or excuse me, I'm trying to think of some other formula at the moment. Three parts hydrochloric acid would be three six nine hundred cc's or milliliters. Nine hundred milliliters. I gotta show my container right here. Anyway, yep, three of these right here. Three of these things here, full of hydrochloric acid, and two of them of hydrogen peroxide. Three six nine hundred milliliters of hydrochloric and six hundred milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Tank's already been loaded with some. I ran some scrap in it already, and it's still plenty active. Turns out that it's not. I can always add 150 milliliters or so of hydrogen peroxide to it to keep it active until the tank's too full, and then I got to dump it off and go through a process of recovering the copper out of it and neutralizing it. And I'm not going to go through all that at the immediate moment while I'm sitting here running my jaw. I'm going to load the cell and get it going. Here you go. Let's put the cards in the basket. It worked out one-handed better than I thought it was. <laughs> 